A very useful feature in the Compress program is the ability to quickly create and manage manufacturer's data reports. Oftentimes we hear about how much time has been wasted by using competitor programs or in-house spreadsheets to transfer the data from their vessel onto their manufacturer data reports. By using Compress, we can transfer this information very quickly at the click of a button onto your form. For example, this is a tall tower that I'm going to use to show you this feature, and there are a lot of nozzles on this vessel. You know, oftentimes vessels can have multiple shell courses, 35 or more nozzles and flanges. All of these components need to be properly documented. So by speeding up this error-prone task by transferring the design data over to the uh, form, we're going to save a lot of time and money this way. So to do this, what we do is we come up to our forms menu up here at the top, and we can select any of the available forms. Uh, we do have the NBICR forms, the ASMEA forms, as well as our U forms. Now before I get into that, we're going to click on the option for form settings and defaults. Now what this does is allows us to actually, ahead of time, fill out information. So for example, if you have customer A, it's a repeat customer, we do a lot of work for them, we can actually set them up as a default and load that in. Or if it's a new customer, you can fill this out as well. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of the fact that I'm doing this job for a repeat customer, and I'm going to click Load Defaults File right here. And from here, I'm going to select my Defaults form, click Open, and as you can see, the information has already been brought over, so I don't need to type this in again. And again, this information will be transferred directly to the form. So I'll click OK. Then from here, I just simply go back to my Forms menu, come down to my ASME U Forms, and I select ASME U1A. When this is clicked, the form will generate into an HTML format, like so. And as you can see, the information that I had entered into my form settings and defaults has been transferred over to this form. All other information for the components have been listed here as well. So for example, there are all of my nozzles listed. And you can also come in here and add any remarks. Perhaps an AI has some information they'd like to see on the U1A form. You can simply type this in and it will get added to the form. Now from here, we can scroll down to the bottom and we can click Generate, or what we can do is go to the Form menu, and you can also submit this electronically, where we'll help you submit the electronic draft to the National Board. But I'll just click Generate here, and this will generate a PDF that you can print off, sign off on, and submit as well. Now to get back to the model, simply come to the top and click on the Form icon, and you're back at the model. So within a matter of seconds, I quickly created my U1A form by taking advantage of Compress's ability to transfer the design data onto the form. I hope you found this feature useful. If you have any other questions at all, please feel free to contact sales at codework.com, and we'll be happy to assist you with any questions you may have.